650, this is your morning in eight minutes. This morning, a man is dead and the TBI is investigating the shooting that killed him. The officers involved are not hurt. It happened at the Exxon on North Broadway in Fountain City yesterday. Just after five, KPD responded to a report of a man acting erratically and causing a disturbance. KPD says the man came out of the store with at least one knife confronting one of the officers. That's when the officer shot him. That man died at a local hospital. The officer is on administrative leave this morning, and the TBI is leading the investigation. We'll update you as we learn more. And new details this morning in the Amber Alert for missing Nashville teen Sebastian Rogers. The 15-year-old's father says he's hired new private investigators to help find his son. Officials with the TBI and Sumner County Sheriff's Office still have no new leads in the case. Sebastian has autism. He disappeared from his mother and stepfather's home on February 26. <clears throat> Excuse me. Roger's father says he recently hired new investigators after firing the ones he got in March. He tells our Nashville station he's grateful for the volunteers that keep handing out flyers, but he wants them to be safe during searches. And heads up, parents, if you have an 11th or 12th grader at home, they've got a good chance at finding a job this morning. Yeah, happening today, Knox County Schools is hosting a student hiring expo. KCS is hosting the 865 Ready Hiring Expo in Knoxville. And your teenager will be able to meet with local businesses and be interviewed on site for several types of positions, including temporary, seasonal, part-time, and full-time jobs, as well as internship opportunities. Multiple city and county businesses will be there, including local dealerships, city and county services, even Zoo Knoxville. It's all happening at the Jacob Building at Chilhowee Park. It runs from 9 to 2. Then this afternoon, the City of Knoxville's Animal Control Board is set to meet. Yeah, the Animal Control Board sets requirements, goals, and specialized training courses for the Animal Control Unit. Young Williams Animal Center controls all animal-related calls in the city and county now. The board's made up of seven members from several departments that include the county's health department, Zoo Knoxville, UT Vet School, and the, Huma uh, the Humane Society and KPD. Young Williams has hired nearly 20 animal service officers to help pet owners rather than seizing animals and writing citations. Meetings are at Young Williams Animal Center on Division Street at 1.30. Well, the House could vote on a set of bills to provide foreign aid and potentially ban TikTok as soon as this week. And they stand a good chance of passing now that two powerful and unexpected allies are uniting behind them. Congress believes, or Congress officials believe, House Speaker Mike Johnson is likely to get the Democratic votes he needs for this new aid package. President Biden now throwing his support behind the set of bills. It provides a total of about $95 billion for Ukraine, Israel, the Indo-Pacific, Johnson says he wants to pass a potential ban on TikTok at the same time. That would keep the platform out of U.S. app stores unless it cuts ties with its Chinese parent company. And new this morning, a warning from the Department of Homeland Security as officials see an alarming rise in cases of what's known as sextortion. DHS has launched a public awareness campaign to help protect kids against sexual exploitation online. Sextortion is when someone online tricks someone else into giving them explicit photos and then threatens them threatens to leak them unless that victim sends money. The No to Protect campaign will help recognize and prevent abuse. You'll see ads for the campaign online and at professional sporting events like NFL games and NASCAR races. Not only trying to prevent kids from making these mistakes, but letting them know that there are people who can help. Heads up if you drive a Ford this morning, the big three automaker recalling nearly half a million SUVs and pickups. An issue with the battery could cause them to lose drive power, increasing the risk of crashing. If you drive a Ford Bronco Sport SUV made between 2021 to 2024 or a Ford Maverick pickup made between 2023 and 2024, your car is under a recall. Safety officials say an undetected low battery charge can lead to a loss of hazard lights or cause a loss of drive power, increasing the risk of a crash. Dealerships will fix this problem for free. And calling all car lovers and those of you who hate traffic, heads up, the Spring Rod Run is kicking off today in Pigeon Forge. Oh yeah, cars already lining up along the parkway, getting ready for the event. You'll see a lot of traffic around the LeConte Center this uh, today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Police remind everyone who may need to run errands or get to work, leave early, find an alternate route around town if you can. Prepare for heavy traffic on the roads, sidewalks, parking lots, also for golf cart riders. They say make sure your golf carts are street legal before you pop out onto the highway. Everything gets kicked off at 9 o'clock this morning and runs until 6. And we do want to get a check of your first alert traffic with Kristen Allen on this Thursday. Yeah, good morning. We're looking good out there for the most part, but we are still following this out there 
on I-40 West in Cumberland County at mile marker 334. The interstate is still closed this morning according to TDOT because of an overturned vehicle. So watching this really closely for you, working to get more updates, but for right now, I-40 West is closed in Cumberland County. Coming back here closer to home in Knoxville, you can see we're looking pretty good across the board as you're getting out the door on this Thursday. Not seeing any slowdowns or delays to tell you about just yet. Taking a look there, I-40 at Hall of Fame Drive, certainly seeing that traffic flow pick up in downtown, but really looking good right now. Not seeing any slowdowns. We'll keep an eye on that for you as we get closer to that morning rush. 655 and now as we're starting off with some beautiful views, those clouds just getting out of our way early, giving us more time with sunshine on what will be a beautiful warm day already off to a nice start already up a couple of degrees now in Knoxville with sunrise just inching closer and closer in the next couple of minutes 58 now in Knoxville 52 Sevierville just down the road from this view in Pigeon Forge 58 Tazewell to 60 in Jamestown again we do have some pockets of fog actually visibility is now dropping a little more in Campbell County so you can see it's been really hovering with some dense fog at the plateau line Roan to Cumberland up through Morgan Fentress and Scott and now visibility has dropped a little bit more in Campbell so that's something else we'll continue to keep an eye on for you over on the CW, but I say keep an eye on those sunglasses and that T-shirt today. We're going to enjoy it. 67 at 10, 74 at noon, high today 84. The next 12 hours, a lot to enjoy here with those few clouds and pockets of fog now and 80s this afternoon, but it is 70s to 60s to 50s the next few days. We've got it all, something for everyone. <laughs> um, no, we do have those downpours and storms though rolling in tonight to tomorrow morning, so I'm tracking that for you. Plus, we have that rain reaching up for part of our area Sunday, and that's when that temperature tips down even more. Yeah, strapped into that roller coaster that is the weather here in East Tennessee, <laughs> especially in the spring. It is 656 on this Thursday. We're headed over to WBXX, the CW Knoxville. I hope you have a good day.